Hello and welcome to Code Harvest. In this video, we are going to be creating the services page of our website. This will not be the products page, but we will be simply displaying the services that Comfy provides. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so now before we create the services page of our website, we just want to make it clear that we're going to keep all our pages in one page. So there won't be different pages for each category, but they're all going to be in one page. So let's minimize this. And also, uh, we're going to have to include a new category, which is going to say products since we're not creating the product in this video so let's scroll up so there won't be any contact but over here we're going to say products all right so now we're going to scroll down and in here we're going to be creating a new div in which our ID is going to be our services and now we are going to create another div in which our class is going we're going to call this heading style so this will be our where our title is going to be uh, stored in and in here we're going to include a new h1 element and a new div called our services and we're going to add a little quote in which we can say remarkable and exceptional customer service okay so now obviously that does not look styled so now we're going to head over to our css to fix this all right so now we're going to be designing the services page of our site basically the title and the quote Okay, so now that our text, our uh, title, as well as our quote looks much better, designed well, we are going to go back to our HTML page and in here, we're going to create another div in which our class name will be uh, services container. So what we're going to be doing right now is we're going to be uh, creating a container, as you can see, as well as boxes, three boxes for our information, the types of services that uh, Comfy provides, as well as the images that are going to be shown. So we're going to create another div and this class is going to be called services box and inside of services box we're going to be including four things so first we're going to be including the image tag we're also going to be including the title of uh, the service and uh, another thing is the text so a little paragraph so then uh, we can call our class services p, p for paragraph, and last thing is going to be our button. And we can call this more button because the text that is going to be displayed it will be more. Okay, so in here we're just going to be including the image source that we're going to be including as well as the text and the paragraph that we're going to be displaying. Alright, so now as you can see, we have already included our title as well as the little paragraph that we're going to be adding. It's just going to be some lorem text and our button as well, as well as our image. So now, oops. Okay, so now we're going to be styling the title, the image as well. We're going to have to fix our width and height since the money bag looks a little too big, as well as the paragraph and the button. to add is um, also I almost forgot to mention we changed our class from service title services title to services box title since we have used up uh, that name over here uh, over here services title so we changed uh, the title of each service to services box title now we seem to have a little problem when we try to scroll down it seems like uh, any overflow is hidden and our height we did uh, specify a height but you do not need that anymore since we have our content so when you scroll down you should be able to scroll down and one more thing we all also want a spacing between each box so we're going to scroll down and head over to services box and over here we're just going to add margin bottom of 2m which is almost equivalent to 40 pixels i believe so that looks much more neat and when we maximize our uh, page or expand our page it looks much more neat and much much better and when we hover around each button it creates a lovely smooth effect 
All right, now the last step to our website is we want to add an animation to our service boxes. So let's head over to a CSS file. And over here, right below services box, we're going to uh, include animation name, which we'll just call it glide. It can be any name you want. And animation duration should be three seconds. All right, and now we're going to add the keyframes of glide. And what we want is at 0%, so when uh, it has not started yet, we want it to be at 0. So we want the transition to go from up to down, so that's why we're using Y. And for 50%, we basically want it to go up, so up will be negative. And at 100%, when the animation is over, we want it to go back to 0, and I'll just add some semicolons here. Oh. Okay, we forgot to add pixels, so now when we reload this, you can see that all the service boxes go up, and though it does look nice and satisfying, we want it to go up separately at each at their own interval. So over here, we're going to add new IDs to each service box. So for service 1, for this first box, we're going to add, we're going to add service 1, for the second, it's going to be 2, and for the third, we're going to add 3. And right here, we're going to just call them. So service one, we want the animation to delay to about just one second. Uh, for number two, we want it to delay for two seconds. And for number three, three seconds. So we want it almost a second immediately after the other service box uh, finishes its animation. So when we reload this, you can see the first one come up, the second and third. Okay, maybe we do need to separate it by two seconds. And now when we load this, you can see the first one go up, the second one, and the third one. Maybe we can get it a little bit faster, so by two seconds, yes. Okay, so now we're just going to be adding a little box shadow as right now, uh, when it rises up, it looks great, but it would be nice to have a little bit of shadow. So over here, we're gonna scroll up, we're just gonna copy this, I'm gonna paste it at the point where the animation goes on. Or when it starts so we'll just increase this to 0 0.3 so double and we'll increase this to by five pixels so when we load this you can see the box shadow it looks very subtle but it is noticeable thank you so much for watching this was a pretty short video but i do really hope that this video helped you to create better design and how important css really is in our when we are creating our websites so i hope you enjoyed this video please do give this video a like comment down below on what you think of this video and please do subscribe and hit the notification bell if you have not already so that you do not miss the next video to come see you in the next video goodbye